Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. I wanted to talk a little bit today about how important it is for you to stay in your little private bubble of everything that you want in your reality. And if you would do this and exercise a lot of discipline and be super, super focused on just remaining in that bubble, then you will see results much quicker in your reality. A lot of those results might simply be your ability to stay in the end much longer and that you feel a sense of strength, power, a sense of trust and just feeling better and being able to enjoy your life. A lot of this, it's very important for you to be light about things and to be happy and to be living your life and enjoying yourself being the best version of you, okay? Because if you want something healthy when it comes to a relationship, whether it's a relationship with your specific person or with you and your coworkers, you and your employees having a successful business with you and your clients, whatever the case is, you need to come from a place of stability and being grounded and secure. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to talk about this. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. And if you want me to be your coach, I can help teach you how to manifest anything related to your specific person or money. Just email me a short description to kim at coreunion.com. I will reply back to you with my next available session after you've booked through my website, coreunion.com. You can do a 30-minute session, a 60-minute session, or a package. Completely up to you. When I first started to learn how to manifest and I made the decision early on, as soon as I woke up in the morning, who I was. So I would always start from a more powerful place, take a few nice deep breaths in, feel very, very much at ease, feel, and this is what Neville Goddard calls it, state akin to sleep. I didn't know anything about Neville Goddard or sats or being state akin to sleep. I just knew when I got myself into a nice, cool, calm place that my subconscious was going to be receptive. And that's exactly the times where you guys want to be doing your inner work. Napoleon Hill called it auto-suggestion in Think and Grow Rich. And that's what you want to do. You want to become aware. So make the decision, get clear. Of what is it that you want your life to look like? And that everything, every single detail of how it is that you see yourself, how you see everyone else in your reality, how you see the relationships, how you see the money that you're making, everything. You want to make it very clear, get clear. If you need to write it down, go ahead and write it down. But that is, that is you, this is your life and nothing outside of this private bubble can affect you or your life period. Those things that make you feel super strong inside, like inspired, the things that you really, really, really want and desire. You wouldn't even want your desires unless your desires wanted you to, so to speak. But you wouldn't even be able to think about wanting it unless it was possible, period. So if you want to be a millionaire, that means that there is a reality that exists where you are already a millionaire. If you want to be making a half a million dollars a year, $200,000 a year. If you want to have your own business, you have to make the decision early on in the morning. That is who you are. And then you stay very clean and clear on your mental diet and focused and disciplined. And if anything comes up that is not in alignment with whatever it is in your bubble, you don't give it your energy or attention or awareness. If this is related to your specific person, this is where some of you guys end up spiraling and getting frustrated. But what I have learned is like 99% of the time, you guys are just getting triggered because you had some sort of a feeling or an urge to check the 3D. And instead of catching yourself in that moment and saying, hold on, who am I being right now? Because it's all about you reminding yourself, who are you? Who are you in your little private world, in your private bubble? You made the decision that you were in a stable and secure, healthy, loving relationship in love, being irresistible to each other, making an incredible and happy team, being amazing best friends and incredible lovers, getting each other better than anyone else ever has. You made that decision early in the morning as an example. And then you, you did your inner work. It felt good. You were living and thinking from being in the end of already being back together, living together, having an amazing life together having a family together, being married. Long distance doesn't matter anymore. Issues, fights, 
differences, none of it matters anymore. In your end, that's all been ironed out. It's all worked out. Okay. Everything fell into place. You do your inner work, you're in your little bubble, and then you get an urge throughout the day to go and check instead of catching yourself and saying, wait a minute, hold on. Who am I being right now? Am I being, am I being who I was in the morning, who I decided I am? No, I'm not. So I'm not going to actually take this action because if I actually do take this action, that is inspired action. Your urge to want to check on their social media or to see if they, this or that, whatever it is, to check up on them, to, to like spy a little bit or whatever it is, that urge is inspired action coming from you not being the version who you made the decision you were in the morning. So your reality has to give you proof of it back. Do you see that? So what I want you to do instead is make the decision you are going to bubble up again. The moment that you decide that you are getting an urge, to, you're wondering, is it working? Bubble up, decide it is working. I know how to manifest. I trust in manifestation. I am, God is within me. I am God in human form. God is literally just using me as a channel. God gave me this desire because I do belong with this person. We make an incredible team. We love each other. We're there for each other. We can't resist each other. Whatever it is that you have to say in that moment, just to get out of the urge. If you do that, you most likely won't end up with such a deep, dark, spiral as you would have if you did follow that inspired action of wanting to check. Catch yourself, remind yourself, ask yourself, who am I being right now? If you're honest with yourself, you would just be able to say, oh, okay, I'm in a little bit of doubt right now. So let me step back and remind myself of the process. How does manifestation work? What is the process of all of this? Do you understand and trust and know what manifestation is? Stop yourself from taking the action that is going to be you searching for proof of finding something that you don't want, and then you were going to manifest finding exactly what you don't want, whether it's related to money, buying a home, getting a promotion, having the relationship, improving your relationship with anybody in your reality, having people just treat you better with better respect, with more respect, honoring you, valuing you. No matter what it is, you make the decision early in the morning. You make the decision, this is who I am now, and this is how I'm treated, and these are the things that I get to experience, and I'm able to have the money that I want. I'm getting healthier and stronger. I am healthy. I am strong. I'm getting more and more rich. I am rich. I am wealthy. I love that I make over $1,000 a day. I love that I make over $30,000 a month. I love that I'm a millionaire. I love that I keep getting more and more rich. Um, if it comes to your person, I'm completely loved, cherished, and adored. I'm everything that they've ever wanted. We make an amazing and incredible team. Have a little inner conversation about it. Feel them, see them being right there, loving you, adoring you, and cherishing you. Have the inner conversations the way I've described in a million of my videos. Make the decision. Spend a good 10, 15 minutes being the version of you, making the decision. I am. This is who I am now, right now. Think from and feel from being that version of you. Stay in the bubble. And if you would just drop the habit of going outside of the bubble and not don't listen to the urge, don't listen to the inspired action. Recognize if I'm inspired to do this, then I'm actually not trusting. And that's it. And then what does that tell you you need to do? You need to get back in your trust. Oh, the only evidence that I actually need is what's in my heart because this is what God planted within me and God created me to create for God. So if this is deep down in my soul, in my heart of hearts, that must mean that is what I actually deserve. This is actually who I was created to be. If you would just be more strict about this and just really ask yourself, is this action that I'm about to take? in alignment with being the version of me that's in the relationship or that has the money or that has the home or that is in whatever it is that you want. Is this action in alignment? Yes or no. And if it's not, don't do it. If you would have that kind of control and discipline, I really believe that you would 
be able to stay in your end for longer periods of time. When you're able to stay in your end for longer periods of time, you're truly going to make a complete change in your consciousness. And your consciousness is what is actually being reflected back to you. Okay. The things that you don't want in your reality were your subconscious fears. I want you to decide who you are early in the morning, do repeat the process somewhere in the middle of the day. And as you're going to sleep, when you're just staying nice, cool, calm, and collected, just take some nice deep breaths in and go into your heart space, go into trust, remembering that you're not separate from God, tap into God, give thanks for everything. Thank you for creating me, blah, blah, blah. And then go into, this is who I am. Feel good. That's your bubble. Anything that's outside of your bubble is not welcome in your bubble. Protect your bubble. Don't let anyone in your reality burst your bubble. If somebody does say something that goes against what's inside your bubble, thank you. No, thank you. In your reality, you respond appropriately and maturely, but then you go back into your trust. And if you have a bunch of little mini triggers happening throughout the day, make sure that you just check in with yourself internally and tell yourself whatever it is that you need to tell yourself in that moment. Usually it's going to be something around safety, security, being valued, respected, honored, and getting what you deserve. Change that inner voice that you have inside of you to be working for you. And again, if you are urged to check 3D reality to see if you, if you, anything in your reality is working, that is, that right there is a mental diet issue. You have to catch yourself and ask yourself, before you check 3D reality, ask yourself, who am I being right now? Because this is inspired action coming from a place of lack, of not having. So get back in your trust and just stay there. Bubble up. Be light about it and have fun in your life. Manifesting does not equal suffering, desperate, anxious, angry, frustrated. If you are feeling that, it's most likely because you're not staying on a good mental diet, you're not staying in your bubble, you're not in trust, so your reality needs to keep giving back things that will make you feel anxious, frustrated, drained, nervous, desperate. You are going to experience through your reality yourself. So decide who you are and stay there bubble up. Okay. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. If you need me, just reach out. Please comment down below that you are going to stay focused and disciplined and in trust and not allow anything outside of you to dictate who you are. Remember who you are. Remember your power. Remember your strength. Be strong and have fun. Okay. I love you so much. Have an amazing day. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come.